Hey guys, what's going on? MasterGFX here, and today I'm going to be covering another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the fastest and most effective method to create a custom YouTube template that will perfectly fit uh, your channel specifically. So it's very simple, and Risk is going to be recreating this um, using my channel as an example. So what we want to do first off is head over to our YouTube page and make sure that um, if you're doing this for a friend or somebody uh, you want to make sure that you go to their page and first thing you want to do is go to your themes and colors and just select any of these I just like to use the gray and then just hit save changes and basically what that did is make uh, your page very plain and makes the boxes all easy to see so that when we go to cut them out um, it's very difficult uh, not very difficult so what we're going to do to start off is basically scroll down so that we um, just have this top bar here or you can do the entire screen at once um, I guess I'll just do it all at once to show you guys. So, um, what we're going to do is basically take a print screen of this image, but uh, let's just say you know you don't want to keep scrolling down and taking multiple uh, print screens. So, in order to expand your page, all you have to do is hit F11, and as you see, that'll expand our page for us, and we uh, can take a lot larger uh, print screens. So, I'm just going to go ahead and hit my print screen button here, and they won't, uh, you don't have to wait for any loading bars to pop up or anything. It automatically just does it. Then we're going to go into our document here. And uh, for our dimensions, we're going to create a new one. Now, your width you want to set uh, to whatever your desktop uh, width is. And then for the height, uh, you can pretty much just guesstimate. So I'm just going to go with like 1850, and then we go ahead and hit enter. All right, so what we can do from here is hit control V to go ahead and paste in our print screen. Drag it up to the top, and just zoom in here. And then to begin, we're just going to go ahead and uh, erase all the side and top margins here, like so. And uh, this may take a little bit of time depending on what you're doing, um, depending on how specific you want to get with this. So we can go ahead and just drag that up to the top, get it perfectly level and even, like so. And then we can go ahead and drag this up to the top. Alright, now we want to head back to our YouTube page. And basically we left off here at the very bottom of the other channels box. So once again I'm going to hit my F11 key scroll down to about where I left off hit another print screen and then go back into our Photoshop once again hitting control V to paste that print screen and what we want to do from here to line it up perfectly is basically under the image that we just put in we want to lower our opacity and then zoom in and basically just line them up and you'll know when it's perfectly lined up when um, the letters aren't blurry anymore and as you can see right here uh, we basically have the cutoff of where that image uh, needs to be so we're just going to go in with our uh, elliptical marquee tool once again and then go up and delete the rest of the image that we do not need like so and then we can zoom back out and bump up the opacity on that and as you can see it's a perfect fit and then we're going to do this one more time on the very bottom of the page and I'm just going to go ahead and hit print screen for this and once again hit control V to bring it into the image scrolling it down and we're going to lower our opacity. Uh, there is no specific lowering. Uh, it's pretty much just whatever you feel comfortable with. And we're just going to drag this down. And get it set up perfectly. Like so. Okay. And then from here you can see we have a little fade outline. And that is where we know to cut off. So once again take our elliptical marquee tool. And click and just drag up and over. And then delete. Alright, now there we go. We basically have <clears throat> our entire YouTube page on here. And what we're going to do to start off is basically I'm just going to go ahead and slap these all into one group. So I'm just going to uh, click one, hold down my shift key at the very bottom, and hit control D to make them into a group just so they're more manageable. Now this is where it basically turns into a very easy part uh, to create your custom template. What we're going to do is just create a new layer here, head back over to our elliptical marquee tool, or you can use your shapes tool. It's all personal preference. And what we're going to do is just basically drag out uh, our exact shapes here, like so. And then you go into right click inside that box, head over to fill, and I'm just going to select black so it stands out. And there we go, we have our first uh, layer of that. And then basically you're just going to continue on with that uh, throughout the whatever boxes you wish to create for your template, like so. And we're just going to keep filling these in. And I'm going to try and make this as fast as possible on this part. And I'm going to go ahead and say, like, uh, again, basically, I'm very, I'm doing a very rough cutout here. 
uh, when you guys go make your own obviously you're gonna be a lot more precise with this um, if you're also worried about being uh, you know extra straight on or extra precise with your cuts uh, you can also take advantage of the ruler uh, just hit control R to bring up the ruler guidelines and those will make it a little bit more easier for you to basically um, just create perfect cuts so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up here and drag out these boxes and you, uh, one thing you guys want to make sure you do because I have messed up on this sometimes uh, you want to make sure that you are hitting uh, a new layer every time because it can be a pain in the ass if you accidentally uh, put it on the wrong layer so I'm going to go ahead and finish up here I got this box fill black and zoom back out here hide our group and there is our perfect template that took us about two minutes to make and in order to use it all you have to do is basically um, you know you have all your channels here you have all your paths on the inside you can label them such you know we can do top for top and then you basically just go on editing from here uh, you do want to make sure that you save this as a PSD um, for future references just so when you go to create your own templates uh, like I said this does work for other channels um, just make sure they have their channel set to a very simple theme and color so anyways guys um, I just want to get this tutorial out because uh, I figured a lot of people would enjoy how to uh, enjoy to learn how to do this in a very quick and timely manner so anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the video please remember to rate it thumbs up thumbs down whatever you think deserves but other than that guys take it easy